the demand for our program has only increased in a short period of time um, and the, the needs that folks have in a way that um, like will run out of resources. If, if we had more supplies, we would be going all night long. We just don't have enough for, for the need out here. Well, anything that we budgeted for last year is, you know, completely out the door now. I mean, everything we buy as a program is, is costs us a lot more. Everything has gone up in price, whether it's uh, the snacks for bagged lunches, the tarps that we're purchasing, socks, um, meal replacement, just generally everything. Our, our budget we made last year is doesn't exist anymore. What worries me the most is we have thousands of people waiting on a housing list with zero places to house people. We have rent going up drastically, um, inflation, and then interest rates on, on being increased by Bank of Canada. And so when people default on their mortgages, where are they gonna go? They're gonna go to the rental market with more resources to compete than people that are in the rental market and they're gonna push more people into poverty. We're really just gonna see an increase of, of homelessness throughout all of Canada. The food bankers will tell you they see recession and economic crash long before anybody else does. Because the creep that happens, we see it first. You know, the layoffs that happen quietly, those families end up at our doors. The increasing costs of, of inflationary um, items, they we see that first because families will turn to a food bank because they may still be able to cover the mortgage or the utility bills, but they just need that extra supplementary help. Well, that supplementary, what used to be supplementary help from a food bank has grown to be, we are their source of, of nutrition for the month because inflation has reached us a, a place that they can't afford to do both. It's unprecedented. So we're seeing demand that we've not seen before. It is stretching our resources, but um, we're able to, to feed as many people as are coming to our door. 1,100 lives affected yesterday. That's about 400, just over 400 hampers, but some, because some of them are for families, the amount of lives affected was 1,100. If you look at the same time last year, it would be about 30% higher.